And as you know, I mean, our country, our country still battles with uh, waste management. So what can we expect from you in the future to try and combat this? Well, the problem with waste, and there are numerous problems with waste, actually, is that, well, we, we uh, you know, the majority of the products we use are, are plastic. Um, so, you know, the, the, the challenge with waste is obviously you've got your glass, you've got your cans. You know, plastic is actually the most technical thing because, you know, A, there are sort of 18 different types of commercial plastic that we use, but, you know, in the recycling process, you might have, you know, for argument's sake, use an um, all gold, you know, the squidgy tomato sauce bottle. So that might be made out of PET on one side, but inside there's a nylon layer. So they can't separate that either to recycle that. But, you know, the challenge is that people, we call them pickers or sorters in the waste stream, they can't recognize that that's an, actually an unrecyclable bottle because on the bottom of that bottle it says, it's got a sign that says, you know, PET. And people confuse the, the signage or the, the symbols of, of recycling. There's, it's got little arrows around the, the indicator. That actually doesn't mean that it's recyclable. It, that, that specific product is recycled. It means that PET, you know, that is, that is what it is, is PET. It's not necessarily recyclable. So there are all these, you know, the industry is fraught with these challenges because then they face the packaging industry. And, you know, everybody feels that the packaging industry is, you know, the evil person and plastic's an evil product, but the packaging industry faces a shoot, uh, a, shoot a, a food security issue. So now you said, you know, you've got the recycling argument, the plastic argument, the food security issue in terms of shelf life. So now, is it better to use more, uh, you know, a different type of plastic um, to make the food last longer? You know, so there's all these different challenges and, you know, where do you draw the line? Where do you work out what is better, what is not better? It's a very complicated question, actually. So, you know, I think, um, you know, Cape Town has, is, has really, you know, come to the party with um, waste collection on that level. In fact, um, company Waste, uh, I want to say Waste Plan, it's, yes, it is Waste Plan, um, who does the Cape Town collections is, is really jacked, but they've been subsidized by the municipality. Um, Johannesburg, it's very disjointed because a company called Pick It Up, which handles the waste, you know, municipal waste there, has recently, now actually from the 31st of December, has segmented their waste collection and they've appointed seven different agents, recycling agents, on a you know, on a, you know, aspect of job creation. But now those recycling agents, a lot of them, some of them are existing credible companies, um, and a lot of them are, you know, basic, you know, companies that have been founded specifically for job creation, but they don't have the skills. So we have a situation where some of those companies are borrowing pick it up trucks, but now, you know, they, they, they might be an overflow. So, you know, it, it, it's actually a bit of a chamorse, frankly, at the moment. Yeah. So really where I think it needs to go is that, you, you know, these private companies are doing quite well. People are prepared to pay for their services. Um, you know, there's a trade-off between waste and recyclables because if you start recycling, you actually, you know, you're decreasing your waste stream. So the trade-off, if you, if you start recycling, say two-thirds of your bin weekly will be recyclables. So, you know, the waste, uh, to, the, to collect the waste, the cost decreases there, and, you know, to collect the recyclables and recycle them, it, it sort of trades off. Um, but again, it's, it's a very disjointed industry, and I feel if, in, if the municipality came to the party, they relied on the companies that have been doing this for ages and know what they're doing, um, those companies would in turn grow, therefore create more jobs. And the, the thing about waste is it's a fast, fantastic job creation you know, a setup because, again, you bring in people who are not skilled, which is obviously the problem in this country, um, and they're able to do something. So they're able to generate funds, feed their families, and perhaps go through a funnel to, you know, to management, etc.